Neural is a new layer 1 blockchain built for mainstream decentralized finance, and it is tailored specifically to individuals and small businesses. There are two key features that differ this blockchain from all the other ones, that is an identity layer at the protocol level, and also legally robust tokenization. The main issue that Neural sees with most current blockchains that makes them not very suitable for actual DeFi activity and business is that they are built completely trustless. And that is not how the real world works. In the real world, when you commit a transaction, you have a varying amount of trust with a second party. And Neural aims to leverage this feature to make the use cases that we have in the real world available on blockchain. I'm going to go over six key features of Neural, talk about its novel proof of trust consensus, and in the end, talk about the real world applications and also the team, investors, and funding. Let's dive right in, and the first feature is legal robustness of tokenization. And what does it even mean? Basically, it's quite hard to tokenize real-world assets, and the most common problem with that is double tokenization. There are two ways you can tokenize your assets in Neural, either through custody or through native issuance. When using custody to tokenize something, the real-world asset owner or financial asset owner transfers the asset to the asset keeper. The asset keeper keeps that asset and gives the tokens to the asset owner. Then those tokens represent the asset from that point on. They can be transferred among the participants. When you de-tokenize the tokens, you basically get your real-world asset back. Some assets are not usually tokenized, so this feature would not really work for them. So in that case, you use native issuance of tokens. And in this case, the tokens that are on the blockchain are the sole representation of the value of the asset. For example, this can be done for contracts. When you first issue the tokens natively on the blockchain and they are not issued on their smart contract, but just as a transaction, you create a block with a token. And in the next block following the genesis of the token, you include the hash of that legal document from the real world. So from that point on, you have the real world document in the blockchain and you cannot get it out from there. The second feature of Neural is trust scores. They're basically your credit score. However, they take additional information into consideration. For example, collaborations with others, your jobs and tenant contracts and so on. So that is affected by the interactions that you have in the community on the blockchain and your history of transactions. Additionally, every participant can also report any malicious activity, and that report is going to be checked by the special type of auditor nodes, and that can also affect the trust score later on. The third feature is an identity layer. Basically, each wallet of Neural is linked to a document that proves the identity of that company or that person. It also includes additional information, such as whether you are an accredited investor or not. The document itself and its hash are currently stored on-chain. The fourth feature that Neural adds is templates for smart contracts, and that is done to reduce the cost of deploying the smart contract and also reduce their byte size, and therefore create an opportunity to make them more complex. Only the parameters of the smart contracts are going to be stored on-chain, and the templates themselves are going to be taken and drawn from the local nodes. The fifth feature of the neural architecture is that there are no full nodes, and each node only processes a part of the transaction and only stores a part of the history. And that is done to improve the scalability and reduce the gas fees for each transaction. The allocation of what nodes do the work is random, however, this distribution is only possible when the number of nodes is large. So, at the very beginning, when the network is still small, all the nodes are going to be doing the work. The last but not the least feature is that not all transactions are created equal. That means that transactions that involve higher values are allocated more resources towards them. That means higher gas fees and more nodes are involved. All these features come together in a novel proof of trust consensus that Neural is based on. Let me give you a quick overview of that. The very first step is that any node can initiate a transaction and then broadcast it to another node. The second node validates it, and if it is valid, it transmits it to other peers. The number of those other peers depends on how high the value of the transaction is. So, as I said previously, the higher the value, the more peers you will have to involve. If the transaction is valid, it is stored in the local memory pool of all participating nodes. Then, after a certain number of transactions is validated, a new block is created from the valid transactions. And there is no competition for who creates a new block. 
Instead, there is another process for that. All the involved participants choose who is going to add the new block, and the probability of being selected depends on your trust score. The nodes who are participating also choose a committee that the block creator is going to correspond to, and the committee will have to validate that block. After the block gets validated, it gets transmitted to all the participants and the participants get received for their transaction. The validator nodes that do some kind of malicious activity during this process do not get fully slashed. Instead, they get a severe reduction in the probability of being chosen and they also lose all the deposited tokens that they put into becoming a validator. Now let's get into the use cases. The first and most important one is cooperative microbanks. That is basically you cooperating with your community to set up a decentralized bank to lend assets to each other. The second use case is community DAOs. For example, for angel investors, they can come together and have a little fund among themselves by having a common coin between them and having a DAO where they can vote on decisions on what project to invest it in. You can also create a community coin that is useful, for example, for small businesses. Let's say I have a small business, you have a small business, and my mom has a small business. And we all have a token for our business. And we can come together with our tokens and mutualize them into a super token. So that super token is a thing that the investors are going to invest in and that it will be like investing into all of us separately but all together at the same time. And that reduces the risk for the investors. You can also use Neural for more common use cases such as decentralized exchanges and venture funding and receipt tokenization, brand tokenization, water offset tokenization for sustainable investing, and is money lending platform that is going to be implemented for students and visa workers that are going from India to the US. Swapnil Pawar is a founder of the ASQI company that is based in Mumbai. The company was created in 2019 and this company is launching Neural. He specializes in macroeconomics, quant finance, and blockchain and has experience in the industry for over 18 years. I'm not going to go through all the projects that he participated in, however, the information is listed on the screen right now. As you can see, Neural is very young as a project, so there are two things that follow from this. Firstly, I'm not going to talk about its tokenomics, because it just does not make much sense, because it is still a subject to change. So I would recommend you to closely watch the Discord and Telegram groups. And the second point is that the testnet is launching. Hopefully, if I'm on time with editing, that is today. The testnet is incentivized, and for more information, join Discord and Telegram groups, and I will leave the link to sign up for it in the description as well. That was it for Neural. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.